Dear students, we will try to understand the chapter Glimpses of India. Glimpses means a momentary view or we can say a quick look. So that means after completing this chapter, we will have a better understanding of India, at least three states of India that is about Goa, Karnataka and Assam. So this chapter is divided into three parts and first part is talking about a bake from Goa, second part is talking about Kur and third part is talking about tea from Assam. So one by one we will be seeing it and uh, reading and explaining each paragraph will be difficult means too much time it will take. So what I will do is I will give you only the explanation. So what you need to do is read first the first paragraph then listen to my explanation afterwards pause the video and again read the second paragraph and listen to my explanation so like that you can understand the uh, chapter and the word meaning i will be giving on the board you can look and you can note down in your textbook or copy now i will give the explanation of first paragraph and first you read the paragraph and listen to my explanation so a baker from Goa baker means a person who bake this bread or cake and so on so in Goa this baker has got an important role to play in Goan villages traditionally there are some people who are in the profession of this making bread and they are known as bakers and uh, they have got a special place or an important role in the Goan villages so in the first paragraph the writer is telling that uh, now also you will find some old people thinking about that old Portuguese days you know once the Portuguese came for trade in India and they stayed in India for a long time and they maximum they looted and mainly they this Portuguese settled in Govan side so when this Portuguese were there and they had got a food habit mainly they made food with uh, bread only these foreigners you know they eat uh, different uh, food items and mainly the component will be bread only like a sandwich burger pizza and all these things will have this bread in that so without bread they cannot make all these items so at that time onwards this baker has got an important role in uh, uh, govan village and the writer is telling now also some elders are found thinking about very fondly thinking about very lovingly they think about that old portuguese days where this bread items were so much available and the writer is telling that those uh, eaters of loaves of bread loaves means pieces of this bread they have vanished portuguese already went back some are there anglo indians you will find in goa settled in goa but most of the portuguese they went back but this makers of this bread they are still found and you know this making of this bread there are different process are there molders are there one who gives this shape to the bread and also the mixes means uh, one who mix this uh, powder uh, what is required for making this bread and all. so they are there so this portuguese already uh, left india but still this workers are still there and also you will find this furnace furnace means the ovens in which this bread is being cooked so those furnace are still there in uh, some of the govan villages and still the fire is there that means still some are continuing that business making this bread and selling and also in some villages you will hear early morning the announcement of this uh, bakers coming for selling this bread uh, the, the sound that they make with the bamboo stick they come with a kind of bamboo stick that they hit on the ground and also it may have some bell or something like that so uh, when people hear the sound of those bamboo sticks they understand that these bakers are coming in the morning and the uh, family of this baker they continue this business fathers old people may not be there but sons continue this uh, uh, profession and uh, even today in Goa they are known these bakers are known with a special name and that is a padder so they are known as padder in Goa so that is the meaning of first paragraph hope you understood in the second paragraph the writer is telling that these bakers used to be very friendly with them when they were children uh, because every day this baker used to come in the morning for selling this bread and these children they get up from the bed by hearing the sound of the bamboo stick that uh, uh, these bakers use for announcing 
their arrival so by hearing that sound only they get up and they run for meeting this uh, uh, baker and two times they meet this baker in a day because morning time this baker will be coming with a basket full of bread and uh, after selling all this uh, uh, bread again they will be returning that time also these children they meet this baker so daily since they meet this baker they become very friendly with this uh, baker and why these children run and come for meeting this baker that reason also is mentioned there it is not that they like this bread so much bread is bought by the servants uh, at home but these children come for meeting this uh, baker because for children some special bread is there bread bangles and they are so sweet so that uh, these children like so much and also uh, they are given chance to select according to their uh, uh, taste or color or something like that so uh, for that only these children uh, run and come for meeting this baker in the morning when they hear the sound that is made by this uh, baker in the morning hope you understood that paragraph in the next paragraph the writer is telling that uh, how this baker comes he comes with uh, a musical sound a jang jang sound that is made by that uh, bamboo stick which is hit on the ground and this baker with one hand he will be holding the basket that uh, he will be carrying on his head and with other hand he will be banging this uh, bamboo on the ground and making sound uh, and when he comes first he will greet the ladies with good morning and all very nicely with uh, so much politeness only this uh, baker comes and he will keep that basket on the bamboo you know this bamboo it can be kept like a stand and so on that bamboo he will keep that basket and uh, the children will be coming close to this uh, baker for getting the bread bangle so uh, he will give a mild rebuke that means he will give a mild scolding to the children and keep them little away from the basket uh, but still these children they won't uh, go away from there they will try to climb on a bench or you know some houses there will be a little raised uh, place in front and on that they will climb up and look into the basket and the writer is telling that still he recalls still he remembers that uh, wonderful fragrance wonderful smell of baked uh, bread and the servants will be taking the bread and the children they will be getting these bread bangles and they won't even brush their teeth simply these children will start eating that bread bangle and the excuse that uh, children give is that why should we brush our teeth uh, so at that time they used to brush their teeth with mango leaf and all and who will take the trouble for plucking this mango leaf and all that and also they give an excuse that why should we brush our teeth after all this tiger and all they don't brush but still they have got very powerful teeth and also uh, we are taking this hot tea and all and when we take this hot tea automatically all the bacteria and everything will be killed so why should we brush that is the excuse that they make uh, when they eat this bread uh, without uh, brushing their teeth so they feel that it is not necessary to brush the teeth because afterwards they are taking hot tea and it will clean their mouth that is what they thought at that time so hope you understood that uh, paragraph in the next paragraph the writer is telling how important a baker and bread in govan villages so he's telling that marriage gifts if marriage gifts without bread a particular bread called sweet bread which is known as bowl that is the name so if that is not there uh, then marriage gifts will be meaningless and grand parties you know feast and uh, parties like that without bread it will lose its beauty so we can say baker has got a very important role in govan village and there is a custom that uh, if daughter's marriage is there then the lady of that house she has to prepare sandwiches during the engagement so the day of engagement the lady of that house has to prepare sandwiches so that is a, a custom there then during the festivals like christmas and all cakes and bolingas no so bolingas maybe a kind of bread or a cake so that is must so without that they cannot have a christmas so the presence of a baker and his bakery or this furnace in the village play a very important role so a baker plays a very important role in govan villages so hope you understood that paragraph 
the next paragraph the writer is telling about the dress that was worn by this baker at that time so at that time this bakers they used to wear a peculiar a particular dress a single piece cloth which was looking like a frock reaching up to the knee and it was having a name kabai so uh, that uh, dress was known as kabai and to the writer is telling that in their childhood they uh, so the bake is wearing a shirt and trouser and the trouser which was shorter than the full length uh, pant and longer than the half pant so like that a trouser they used to wear and even today those who wear uh, a half pant which reaches just below the knee uh, they get a nickname people call them or people make a comment that he is uh, dressed like a padder so like that people sometimes make a fun of people those who wear this kind of three fourth and all huh? so they are invited with a comment that he is looking like a padder so that is what is explained in that paragraph now we'll try to understand the last paragraph so the writer is telling that uh, the baker uh, usually collected the bill uh, you know the money from the people at the end of the month and this account uh, they used to write it on the wall and maybe each house wall and all they will write and keep that uh, account and at the end of the month they will collect the money and the writer is telling that uh, it was a profitable profession for this bakers because from their appearance itself uh, they are seen very prosperous uh, because bakers and servants they never starve because they are making bread they will never starve uh, lack of food they will never have and uh, they always had a good physique and you know uh, people those who are in this profession you, you can see their physique will be quite good uh, most of them will be quite fat and also this bakers also they looked like a jackfruit they used to have a plum physique and their physique itself was a proof that uh, their profession was a profitable one and um, if any person who was having that jackfruit like physique that means uh, fat plum physique and they were easily compared uh, with a uh, padder or a baker so people used to make a comment so that is the first part a baker from Goa and in this uh, part hope you understood what is the role of a baker in Govan village so now I will give you the important question answers and you can write it down and you can study and we will see the next part in the next video until then bye have a nice day